o'clock, and it was during the winter. When she was finished, uh, she had a, a stage manager with her, right? And uh, they picked up their, packed up their suitcase. She had lots of stuff, like scarves and candlesticks and little Ruth, things. Ruth St. Dennis. Yes, yeah. that she worked with, right? You, you, you all know whom I'm talking about, yeah. right? All right. Uh, her, her, her movement was not demanding of her to be physically fast, but it was so delicate. Everything she did was so, so beautifully and so delicately done. And she, uh, I think that historically it was a very important uh, performance for all of us who had never seen her work before. And uh, we were too young. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. And uh, she packed up her stuff, her stage manager packed up her stuff. And he was a 70 some odd year lady that to me in that day was very old. Now she'd be a youngster, <laughs> okay. Uh, I finished cleaning up the stage. I was the stage manager. I had to finish making sure everything was closed up. By the time I got out of the theater, she was standing on the street corner waiting for a taxi cab. Now, this is the Lower East Side. In those days, we never had a taxi cab. It was a, it was the, uh, it was the, uh, the Hebrew conglomerate section of the city, and uh, all of the Jewish refugees had had tented there. It was, it was hometown to all of us. You go outside on the street, to cross the street, and there'd be a kid there saying, "Lady, lady, cross me." Didn't matter whether you knew the child or not. The child knew, trusted every adult that came along mm. to help. Cross me meant cross the street with me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, any adult would help this child. This was the kind of community it was. But there were no taxi cabs because nobody had money enough in that section of the city to pay for a cab. So here was Ruth St. Dennis sitting on a suitcase waiting on a street corner for a cab. Well, I used to drive back and forth from New Jersey because in those days the toll was 50 cents. <laughs> okay. What year was that, do you think? Uh, 1950 uh, something in the early 1950s. Mm. All right. Uh, so I, I said, Can I take you home? Oh, we'd be so grateful. Okay, so I took them home to some place on the village. I can't remember exactly where. But she lived in a fourth floor walk up. <laughs> and she was, in her, she was in her 70s. Now, to me, 70 as a kid <laughs> at now. But then when I was a kid, 20 odd, oh my God, this woman who was this old, four flights up in the air, you know, and this revered dancer having to live in a one room flat <laughs> on the fourth floor was to me a sacrilege, <laughs> you know, that for somebody of her, of her aesthetic import to be having to live in that in that condition and it it happens today too <laughs> so but that's Ruth St. Dennis now why, why did we get into this <laughs> oh because I called you Miss Reg oh okay Miss Ruth <laughs> did I say Miss Ruth I think so if you didn't I forgive you <laughs> Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. Now, what I've 